Hi, welcome to Effective Media. Uh, this uh, article you can find in Google if you just type into Google uh, Harvard referencing Word 2007 or words that affect something like how to make Word 2000 fully loaded for Harvard referencing or you know combination of Word 2007 Harvard referencing. My site Effective Media Coder UK should come up in the in the top 10. So uh, that's the easiest way of uh, reaching me. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we do this in uh, it's pretty straightforward. What, what I need to tell you first off is that there isn't uh, an absolutely 100% foolproof way of doing Harvard referencing. That, but what I can do in this site is tell you two or three sources that will together will actually give you everything you need to, to do this and also save time because we're you know I, I teach public relations I've come from a private practice into a, a academia and I was looking for a way of saving time in order for to, to actually continue my own studies in fact and uh, this is what I came across so bear with me for a moment this is the a Microsoft Word document uh, let's just take that citation out so as you can just I can just show you afresh that's how it by the way it ends up but let's let's do it step by step with you so as you can see how this is done so let, let's just step back a bit you've bought Microsoft Word 2007 uh, this is a fresh edition I don't care where you've got it from I'm not gonna ask any questions or judge uh, what you'll have in this section here uh, if we go to the uh, references tab that's the fourth one along is the insert citation you can see a group of little functions here and these are the ones we're concerned with today. So if we want to put a citation in there and uh, just say for argument's sake it is uh, a new source and it's a website and uh, the author is um, say me because you know like most lecturers I like the sound of my own voice uh, and the name of the web page is Effective Media I can even cite myself. Hey, that's good, isn't it? Um, name of website. Uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, PR for profit or something like that. Just for argument's sake. Um, yeah. Uh, that I. Um, that th this this was published. Let's go and back a bit. It's probably two thousand six. Something like June. And it's 25th for argument's sake. And the year accessed was this year, which is 2010. Month accessed was April. And the day accessed was 20th of April. We'll just put the U URL in there. Okay. And that creates a citation. Hey, there's me, Thompson, 2006. And uh, we go down and we create our bibliography. And uh, in the bibliography, we will uh, in insert a bibliography. As you can see there, there's already some citations there. I'll just highlight that one. That's the one that we've just created. That's uh, K. Thompson. Uh, 2006 June the 25th effective media retrieved now that's the good news that's pretty straightforward for anybody who is pretty used to Microsoft Word here's the not so good news in this style section here you'll see that the bibliography style the references style is set preset on Microsoft Word to APA don't ask me why don't ask me why Microsoft didn't actually uh, when they were developing this I'm sure there's legal reasons for it all why they didn't actually include Harvard as a preset because it is one of the main referencing tools in um, uh, in academia but notice when I go to my drop-down list I'm lucky enough to have Harvard in there how did I do that if you go to your drop-down list you're gonna only have about four or five well I did a bit of research and I went to these people it took me a while this but uh, you can have it free of charge this is BibWord it's a plugin it's stable it's got 14 ratings and everybody's happy with it 
I'm putting my academic reputation on the line and I'm recommending it to my students and they haven't had any complaints, all you have to do is follow the instructions there and you will have Harvard referencing embedded in your copy of Microsoft Word 2007. So there's the sort of second tip there. Uh, so use 2007 but also embed BibWord in there. Okay. So that's bibwordcodeplex.com. If you want to go straight there and bypass my site, that's fine too. I'm just I'm just here to help. Let's just go back to uh, my uh, site. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and there's one other thing I need to show you. Also, is uh, see the screenshot there just shows you where to go uh, with your copy of Word, Word 2007 and how to insert a citation. Uh, there is also, I said before, that, um, what does that want to do for me? Oh, right, okay. Um, I, d I did say there were other sources for Harvard referencing. There's one. If you go to the search engine at my employer site, which is ljmu.ac.uk, and you type into the search engine Harvard referencing, you'll get uh, an in-depth guide and a quick guide. Again, I'm trying to just show you how to save time because Harvard referencing is notoriously fiddly and if you get it wrong you lose unnecessary presentation marks in most disciplines. I teach public relations and I'm afraid I would have to knock marks off for, for bad presentation because it's an industry that is involved in that and most of the academic courses that um, uh, that, that you might be studying or, or, or researching would need uh, some form of referencing tool in order to um, make sure that you weren't uh, done for plagiarism. Uh, there's just one uh, that I haven't shown you yet, which is Neil's, Tools box, uh, Neil's Toolbox. That's neilstoolbox.com. I'm not trying to sell you anything. This is a free site, uh, uh, but it doesn't have all of the sources that are available or, or, or all the sources that are accepted by many academics these days. It only has the main ones, which is referencing books, journals, and uh, websites. A good reference and email there. So they're the main, main f is it five? Yeah, uh, main five there. Uh, there are a lot more references that you would need to do. Uh, so, but Neil's uh, toolbox isn't a bad uh, site to start if you are in a hurry and you want a Harvard reference uh, very quickly. But yeah, that's me. That's Effective Media. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you found it useful. Uh, come back soon to effective-media.co.uk. I've been Keith Thompson and I will be Keith Thompson after you've finished looking at this. Thanks for watching.